Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change text wrapping in Word. So I'm just going to insert a shape. You can do this with a shape or an icon or an image. It's completely up to you. It works exactly the same. So I'm going to go to my insert tab and along to shapes, click on the drop down, and I'm just going to insert a square. So what I'm going to do is just click and drag out a square. Now, whenever you insert something into Word, it will sometimes allow you to move it and other times not. And that also comes down to the text wrapping. There's two ways you can access wrapping. You can right click on your image or your icon or your shape and go down to wrap text and then select from the options. Or you can select your item, go to shape format and along to wrap text up here. Now, currently you can see that my square is on top of my words. And wrapping is all about the way the text is wrapped around your object. So let's go up to wrap text and look at the options. If I click on the drop down, you see I have in line with text, square, tight, through, top and bottom, behind the text, in front of text, or edit the wrap boundary. So I don't tend to use in line with text, but if we go to square or tight, these are relatively similar. So let's go to tight and these acting the same way. So if I now move my square around my text, you can see how the text is wrapped all the way around my object. If I've got an icon, it will do it in exactly the same way and also a picture. Now I'll show you how to adjust these margins in a moment, but let's just go and have a look at the other options. We've also got through which acts in very much the same way as tight. And we've got top and bottom. Top and bottom, you can see how that works, where the text is displayed simply to the top and bottom. And this is quite useful if you just want an image in the center of your page. The other one we've got here is behind the text or in front of the text. If we go behind the text, you can see we can use this as a background. If you click away, what you'll find is it's sometimes a challenge to now grab that square. So all I need to do is just split the text a second and then highlight that object, go back up to shape format, go to wrap text and select in front of text. And you can just readjust that text. I don't tend to use behind text, of course, unless you're using it for a background. You can see I've literally popped it on top of the text. This can only sometimes be useful, perhaps if you want to change the transparency of this shape, so if I went to shape format, I went along to format pane. And over on the side here, I've got this fill icon here. If I just select the transparency slider, you can see how I can adjust the transparency of that shape. And again, that will happen if you've got an image or an icon. So the other element to wrap text is edit the wrap boundary. If you select this one, you can be quite artistic and you can play around with these little pointers that you'll find in the corners. And that will just allow you to create a, a shape around your element and move the text to one side. Now, if you want even text, I'm going to use tight here. So let's undo that. Command or Control Z, we'll just go back. There we go. If we now go to wrap text, and I'm going to select tight, and you can see as I do so that the words and all the text around here are quite close to this box. So if I go to wrap text again, click on the drop down and select more layout options. You can see here I'm currently on tight. And if I go down to distance from text, this will give me the option of changing my borders, my boundaries or my margins, whatever you want to call it, around your shape, picture or icon. So let's just put them to one centimeter, top and bottom, left and right to start with and click OK. And now you can see how that border has expanded around my object. The other thing you can do is to either move your element with your text or you can fix it in the position on the page. So moving with text means that if I now type, you can see that everything is moving, including the element. If I select the object, go back to shape format, wrap text and fix 
in the position on the page. Now if it begins to type, if you watch the square, it doesn't actually move on the page. It stays exactly where it is. So if you've entered something in that you want to stay on the page, then you can use that option. So that's just a quick and easy tutorial on text wrapping. If that's helped you today, please subscribe and have a great day.